I really created the Rebel to have a proving ground for people, products, and vehicles. It doesn't matter how your vehicle is powered, whether you have a traditional petrol vehicle or you have an electrified vehicle. This year we have the standard uh, 135 kilowatt hour battery pack. That has an EPA rating of 314 miles, but that's in you know ideal conditions. We are real world testing these vehicles in the way that people want to use them. They want to go out and adventure. They want to go camping in the car that they often are doing the daily commute in. So we are a little bit lower than some of the other vehicles. Some of the 4x4s, of course, have lift kits and things like that on them. So I think for us, in addition to range, vehicle clearance is very important. Last year, we had two electrified vehicles, one EV in the 4x4 and one PHEV in the X-Cross class. And this year, we have seven. It's an exciting program for us, and we're learning a lot. Uh, and the companies that are involved are learning a lot. I love how with the Rebel they've also taken the renewable innovations who gives us the yeah. power to change how the base camps work as well and make those greener. It was also important to us that we worked on having a program that powers these cars with renewable power. We can't have those cars not able to be powered in the desert. So that's what's been really exciting about working with the renewable innovations. They had large-scale solutions and experience and problem-solving skills, and we needed that. This year we brought back the same vehicle, because last year was in our minds, like a science experiment, a little bit of a beta test, so we decided we wanted to come back and give it a go and go for a win in an electric vehicle. Yeah. That would be really yeah. awesome. 